welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green, and I am Psychic Medium, Tony Green. Yes, that's me. Okay, first and foremost, the very first thing I want to do is say, hey, Stevie, good morning. Hope you had fun at work this morning. Um, so guys, how's everybody doing? What's going on in your lives? How have you been? Uh, it's getting interesting, isn't it? It is. It's getting a little interesting. Alrighty. Um, first and foremost, I am a psychic medium and a channel. This basically means when you ask me questions, want to connect with loved ones, information comes through me for you. I do the best I can to give you the information that you are asking for. Oh, it doesn't come from me, but I do the best I can to channel this information from you, for you, not from you, for you. Um, this is something I've done since I was a child, for those of you who are not familiar with me. It's something I've done since I was, well, for as long as I can remember. Um, yeah. So um, I want to say hi to everybody online, Caroline, Heather, Sal, hey, Sal, um, and everybody else watching live on YouTube. If you would like to join us live, it's every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. You can pop on and watch live. You can call into the show live and ask questions about life, love, career, finances, any aspect of your life or connect with a loved one. And the number for that is 845-277-9131. Now, if you want a private session, that is not where you go. You go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Um, I will never reach out to anyone for, um, to ask them if they want a reading or, uh, anything like that. I don't do that. Um, we're going to get started right away today with some clearings. And this is a clearing I strongly recommend everybody do every morning, every evening, once a day, but at a very bare minimum once a week. So this is at about the two and a half minute mark of the show. And this is, um, I am clear. We, we get a no. So we're going to clear that. I'm unclear. We're going to clear that to where it's supposed to be. My home is clear. We're going to clear that. And my home is unclear. We're going to clear that to where it's supposed to be. So, oh, you know, there's just not the energies that are with us are our angels and the ones that are supposed to be and no other no other energies are around. OK, Alrighty. I am going to go to the very. Uh, yeah, the very first uh, caller. When I call your area code, please tell me your your name and your area code. Um, and then a specific question. Man, I have not had enough caffeine this morning. <laughs> I am dazed out. <laughs> I the the problem is seriously. Um, I was having the most vivid weird dreams last night and then uh, during the, like I'd have this really vivid weird dream and then I would wake up from it and then feel like it was you know 10 o'clock the next morning and then try to fall back asleep to have another very vivid very weird dream um Yes, very vivid, very weird, very, um, just very bizarre dreams all night long. But let's get past that and go to the first caller, 417. 417, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Um, my name is Linda. I'm calling from North Carolina. 
how are you doing this morning other than co- not having enough coffee? <laughs> good. Thank you so much for asking. Um, I'm doing very good. How are you? Not too bad. I just wanted to check up with you. Um, you had answered a question before. This had to do with my um, granddaughter. And I was seeing if you had seen see anything else coming through for you of me taking care of the granddaughter um, because I had issues with my daughter-in-law and my son. Okay, so I hear, the first thing I hear is a month. Now, I want to be very clear. um, Timelines can change, and our timelines are not the same as those above, but a lot of timelines I give are spot on, and some of them are not especially when other people are involved. So sometimes I can give a timeline of a partner or something along those lines, and it'll change because the other person has something come in or not, Um, or we're just not ready. We didn't prepare ourselves. At this point, depending on what, what your granddaughter's parents do, and that's a big thing, Um, Mm -hmm. I don't feel like they're going to get their poop in a group. I really don't. I feel like as a matter of fact, it's going to get a little bit more chaotic. Um, What I'm hearing a month, but I'm also hearing the other thing I'm hearing that's really important for you. uh, There's three words, um, contact, um, like, um, I know the word they're giving me is like um, evidence, Ev- contact, evidence, and um, uh, um, uh, it's on the it's on the tip of my brain. <laughs> It'll come to me. But what I basically, excuse me, what I'm basically getting is that be in contact with the right organizations. Have the right evidence, like video evidence that cannot be disputed, that shows not only what's going on, but the emotion that's going on with it, if you can, and it's safe. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay. Also, um, documentation, documentation. Thank you. And documentation can be like, if just say, for example, it's an experience, and this does happen. It's an experience where they mm-hmm. uh, just kind of leave her in your care, but you don't have documentation or court papers or anything supporting that. Make sure you get that from the jump immediately from the get. I think they said this to you, as a matter of fact, last time. Um I, yeah. One thing that's um, so one thing that oh, go ahead, hon. One thing that's really important is even if they sign documentation to get a court documentation because they can say, "Well, when I signed that, I was A, B, C," and until the court puts it in play, it means absolutely nothing. And if the court doesn't put it in play. When medical things, school things, Mm -hmm. so on and so forth come into play, you will not have the right to do a lot of things that you would need to do. This isn't necessarily about permanent. um, The documentation is not for permanent, lifelong, never get to see her again documentation. It's while she's in my care. I need to be able to effectively and efficiently care for her. So I need this document documentation stating I am the primary caregiver at this point in time. So please do everything you can yeah. to get that documentation from day one. Also, I feel like, um, oh, no, 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 no. Um, I feel like this is the most comfortable way I'm able to say this on air. And I think you're going to, I think you already are aware 
in some way of this. Now, I'm not going to use the word they're using. I'm going to use a word I'm a little bit more comfortable with. Um, okay. There's an ending coming in. And I'm not going to go. Now, what was that again? It kind of, there's an it end, kind of broke up there. There's an ending, an ending coming in. Okay. And I think you know. Okay. Um, but just to be on the. Are we talking? Uh, I'm going to. I'm just. Can gonna, I message you like privately and kind of verify that what I think is what you're saying? Um, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say. I might not get exactly what they're talking about, but you, they're saying mm -hmm. you already are aware of what this pro possibly is. Now, when they use words like ending, finality, finish, whatever word we can use for that, it can, let me be very clear, it can be the ending of a habit, the death of a habit. It can be the, the ending of a way of life. It can be the ending of a number of different things. I do feel okay. like here I'm going to say to you that there's something that's somewhat compromised already, whatever it is that's already very, okay. very compromised in some way that is coming to an ending. Now, I do not and will not predict ending times for people because we have, I mean, I've had three near death experiences. I've come back every single time. I think, I think they were like, no, not yet, girly, go back. You've got a lot more to learn. <laughs> you have got a lot more to yeah, learn, girly. Exactly. Go back and learn it. No, you ain't ready for us yet. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Yeah. Um, but I do feel like no, there I is understand a, that. Yeah, there is a definite ending and there's a choice that needs to be made um, before this. I want to say before this ending comes in, this choice is going to be made and it's going to be something that rocks a, rocks a lot of people's worlds. OK, now a lot of people can be two people. Wow. That's a lot of people to have their world rocked. OK, um, so I want to say whatever this is that's coming in, please be aware it's in the best for everyone involved. And it's going to help to they're using the word catapult everything forward. OK, love. OK, I'm uh, OK, I, so I, now she also encountering like health issues is this something also that has to do with it uh i'm sorry your granddaughter is encountering health issues no 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 um my daughter-in-law it could be and maybe you know and again um when they say ending um and um, it could be the end of the health issues. It could be the end of something related to the health issues one way or the other. I do feel like there is something coming in and I hear there's finality to a situation. I'm not. Okay. Even if you're sitting in my office, even if you're in a session again, um, there have been people who have been in comas for years or their heart or brain has stopped for long periods of time and they come back because they're on the other side. They're getting the information they need and they make that choice to, you know, I'm hearing that song. Should I stay or should I go? Right. I, that, when that, right, right. only the person can decide unless it's their final exit point and we all have several exit points. And then we have a final mm -hmm. exit point. We can decide at any of our exit right. points, which are strategically planned out before we come in, we can decide, mm -hmm. um, like, I, I right. want this to be my final exit point. Or we can yeah. decide to come back and keep going. I'm just going to tell you, and, and this is the final thing I'm going to say on this subject, because it's really uncomfortable 
a, a, an uncomfortable subject yeah, for no, many I, people. I, I'm, I'm getting the idea. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. In about a month, a lot of things are going to be extremely different than today. And I'm going to, to go so far um, in, in between four and six weeks, some people's worlds might be, depending on the choices people make today, might be turned upside down. And, and that's not always the worst thing that sometimes we we go upside down to get back upside right okay so depending on the choices that are mm -hmm. being made actually this week and they might be emotional psychological choices or medical choices they could be just a decision that we just say within ourselves um i just can't do this anymore i'm done with this i'm going to do it a different way uh, whatever those choices are um, that's between that person and whatever they consider to be their God. Right. Um, all you can do right. is um, ask that the best thing at this time and point, the best thing come in for everybody involved. But I do feel like some worlds are about to be turned upside down. And I'm very, very sorry for that. And every single time I say that, I get goosebumps. Now, I do want to say... I, I am too. <laughs> oh, thank you for confirming that. Thank you so much. And I do want to say a world can be turned upside down because miraculously somebody has healed from something and there's no explanation mm -hmm. of how or why this happened. Like, I mm -hmm. don't know that that's the case. Yeah. I'm going to be really super honest about that. But worlds can yeah. be turned upside down for a number of different reasons. Just please make sure I'm hearing power of attorney. I'm hearing paperwork. I'm hearing documentation. Please make sure you get what. And I have so many goosebumps on this. Please make sure okay. you get. As long as my granddaughter is good, that's my main thing. Yeah, just get the documentation because you would be amazed. Um, okay. Get the paperwork signed, sealed, delivered. Get the most important thing for you is to get that documentation in order. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I really appreciate it. One of these days when I able to get some money together. I am. Uh, I do want to have a reading with you. Oh, thank you. Uh, right now I'm not working because I'm taking care of her. Uh, but I will get some money together and have a reading with you. Thank You're amazing. You. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. And I'm so grateful that I am able to in some way help you out and give you some guidance. Um, the most important thing, yeah. and I think it's this, you have to do, you have to try to do it this week and it can be stated to the effect of in the case of, or if this situation arises, this is what I want, but please get that documentation in place because you wouldn't believe how other parties might come forward and like a last minute Louie might come forward and say, no, we're going to take her or no, we're going to do this. And, and you'll have a battle on your hands. So please, for the love of all that is good and gracious, get that documentation in place now. Okay, love. Yeah. Okay. I will. Thank you. I will uh, work on that. I really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Right. My pleasure. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for calling in and um, please, whenever you feel the need or want, don't um, hesitate to call in. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You, you have a good week there, Tony. You too. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go to the bye-bye. I'm going to go to the next caller who's three, one, two, but Hey, Patrick from Bonaire. I bought, I, I believe I'm saying that correctly. Bon, bon air, bon bin. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love your pictures that you're posting um, from your vacation. They are gorgeous. Please keep posting um, and sharing that with us. Share all of those beautiful visions with us. That water is 
so gorgeous. The water, the picture with that very blue water. It is so gorgeous. Keep keep posting, Patrick. Thank you so very much. I'm going to go to 312. 312, what's your name and where are you calling from, please? Uh, my name is Brian. I'm calling out of Illinois. Hey, Brian. How can I help and, you? And uh, my that? question of the day. Yeah, go ahead, love. I'm sorry. My question of the day is, um, what do you see happening to me within the next 60 days? Oh, that's a whole on reading, love. That's a full on, let me book you oh, an appointment okay. reading. Let's bring that more specific because during the next 60 days, each and every one of us will have family, love, relationship, career, money, things that happen. So what okay. specifically are you asking about? Career. Okay. Okay. Um, so, Brian, the first thing I want to say is... Um, you need to get like get moving get get in the flow of things and i'm i'm going to say this brian um and I, I don't say this lightly i know how um i don't think it's easy for anybody to just pack up everything and relocate however However, I am going to say I know of a lot of people who will literally by themselves leave their home country and relocate someplace so that they can work. So to go from state to state or city to city is not as big of a move as that. I am going to tell you, you need to get moving. Okay, you need to, the biggest thing I'm hearing is get moving. Now, this might mean in a couple of different ways. Get moving for, um, get, get it going. But I do feel like you need to expand what you are looking at, where you are looking at, and what you are doing. Um, you need to expand your search is what I'm hearing whether that means going across a border to a certain area or that means whether it's a city border or a state border or expanding to a different type of work. And it could mean both. Um, I do feel like in your career, there is some, and again, I hear expansion and I hear there, there's some expansion and promotion coming in. Now, if you are not working right now, this might mean if you are expanding your search, you might find something that offers you a promotion from the last place you were at. Okay. If you are already working someplace, if you're willing to relocate or even staying at the same place you're at, there will be some expansion and some promotion coming in where you are. Um, I Money isn't everything. And I, everybody is well aware that money is not everything. But without it, we have nothing. Okay, we don't have a place to live. We don't have food to eat. We cannot do the things we want to do. Um, so, yes, money is a very, it's like air almost and water. We need it to live. And one of the things I say to people is follow the money. Just like we would follow the air, follow the water. We need money for our security. It's, it's just a part of the world that we live in and we have to stop demonizing it and we have to stop making it, if we go after it, it's such a big bad thing. Um, that was taught to us by the greediest of all people. They, they should have, um, well, that's a whole nother show, but let me come back to this. Um, I am going to tell you that if you... If you expand what you're looking at, you are going to be remarkably amazed. Now, there's one more way we can look at this, Brian. If 
you are with a company right now and you expand a search, you might find another company that brings you on for more with a bit of a promotion. And I keep getting this expand, expand, which would tell me to that you may need to look outside of where you are right now. You may need to look either outside of your company or outside of your area. Whichever one that works for you, it's what you need to do and you need to do it quickly. You need to start expanding your search. You need to start expanding um, what and, and expanding your title. Uh, okay, I, I don't know if this makes sense to you. I really hope it does, right? I hope that that makes sense to you. It absolutely does. Uh, it really does. And a number, couple of reasons. For one, uh, I am a doctor and I don't use my title that often. I just use my regular name because, you know, the title is not really a big thing for me, but I'm I'm saying right now that I'm going to have to. Um, the second thing is um, I've been looking at one company to expand in, but I'm uh, in another state, <laughs> which you touched on, but I'm thinking about looking and expanding at other states and yes. trying to find work there too. Because you know, I work right now for a company. I want to leave this company. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much for telling me all of that because they are so like, they're showing me a hammer and the nail and they're saying, you just, you know, like you're nailing it, Brian, you are right. Um, and you do, you know, use, use your credentials is the word they're saying and do this expand get out there there's so much that you okay so there's so much out there for you out here for you there's so much if you just expand your criteria a little bit and you jump to that like um what they're calling next level if you jump into that next uh level, sector, whatever it is, you are going to be so happy and so grateful that you did that. You're not even going to, you're not even going to look back. Like you're going to be like ready, set, flow, ready, set, grow, ready, set, go. And you're not even going to look back at what it, it's almost like you run and a shoe falls off and you don't even care because you're so excited about where you're going. You're like, forget the shoe. I can get new shoes. And no, don't nobody find me and try to put that shoe on me. I don't even want that shoe anymore. Like you're going into a whole new thing and they're saying you're going in the right direction. And it is, it, it is absolutely 100% where you should be, what you should be doing. And get ready for the next, again, the next level, the next set of things coming in. And you're going to be really happy you did this. You're going to be so excited and so happy that you are expanding the search. And I want you to know I'm so grateful for the time that you spend with me during this show. Um, thank you, MK Karen. Love you, Sal. Oh, my goodness. And where is it? I know that Heather said stacks on deck, stacks on decks throne on ice you can have whatever you like remember that that's our theme song for the day okay you can have whatever you like that's what this world is all about thank you again until wednesday have an amazing rest of the week